Our first caller is Sierra from California. Hey, what's up, Sierra? How can we help you? Hi, guys. Thanks for having me on. I'll just broken record it like everyone else. I love y'all's podcast and I appreciate all the content. Thank you. Um, my question today is about juggling um, my love for fitness and working out um, and just looking physically fit along with the demanding schedule of being a pro NBA dancer. Um, I have danced for a very long time. I danced collegiately throughout college. And then um, I moved from Tennessee over to the West Coast where I joined a pro NBA dance team. And at the same time, I also really love working out. I just love lifting. I love getting strong. It makes me feel confident and just great. Um, But with the schedule of uh, NBA dancer it is very demanding. We have um, three practices a week that are about four hours long, mostly in the in the nighttime, so like seven to like midnight. Um, and then we also have games on top of that. Game days are very long. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what the ideal way to like work out and have like performance for my. Um, dance team commitments at the same time. Um, I typically stay between like 20 to 24% body fat, but like in my off season, but when like the season starts, I don't know. It's, it's just hard to like get nutrition and workouts and practice all within like a 24 hour span of a day in order for me to like look the physically fit physique that I'm supposed to, to like stay on court and like look good in my uniforms. So just kind of wondering what you guys' ideas on that might be. I've tried a few different things, of course, like I just bounce around <laughs> um, and I just thought I'd get you guys' input. Okay. And yeah, no, that's a good question. You're doing a lot right now. So you said three practices for four hours plus, plus games. games, which are longer. How many days a week are you doing other workouts on top of that? Um, I have a split that it's typically five days, but now it's four days. I have a four oh, day wow. split. And they end up being like a total body. I have like quads and arms. I have like shoulders and glutes. Yeah. Um, so I usually have like an upper lower, but now I've kind of done a little bit of a total body ish, but a little more nuanced um, on top of that. Yeah. This, oh, is, this is easy help. right? Yeah. Here. You, you got to let your lift. You're doing way too much. I, honestly, with that <laughs> practice uh, schedule, because that's 12 one. hours a week of movement and basically cardio and movement. I'm sure there's a lots of explosive movements in there. I mean, it's, it's, it's dancing, which is a hard workout plus games. You shouldn't be lifting more than one or two days a week, four to five days a week of lifting on top of that is just too much, way too much. And that's what you're feeling right now. I, honestly, if you lifted, you're, you're going to see your, your physique is going to get better lifting less. Yeah. That's what's crazy. Yeah. If you lifting one day or two day a week, like a maps anabolic routine, and you're going to see a, a better physique. It's just it, that's what's happening right now. Is you're you're probably burnt trying to train that, yeah. trying to train that much, tra- uh, you know, working that much. Especially the type of job that you have has that much high demand and late nights like that. So you're probably your sleep is even getting hammered a little bit sometimes. Yeah. So yeah, you I would I wouldn't let you train more than one to two days a week in a, a full body routine like MAPS Anabolic, and we would do, and the way I would decide one or two is 100% based off of how you feel that week. If we had a okay. good week of rest and it wasn't very stressful, or maybe you're not, because I don't, do you, you're only home games, right? Or do you travel too? Just home games, so, yeah. Yeah, so like maybe it's the week where they're, the the team's on the road, and so maybe it's, mm-hmm. I don't know if that's a less stressful week for you or not, but on the less stressful weeks, maybe I let you train two full body uh, week or uh, two full body workouts. If it's a, a week when it's high stress, I might only let you do one. But I, I just doing that with everything that you're doing, I bet you'll see your your body shape up even better with less work. Yeah, that's I, I'm a hundred percent, and I'll take it even a step further. I would go one day a week and then start there and see how you feel before. Because here, here's what I'm going to guess that you're going to do, Sierra, just <laughs> off of the little bit that we've talked. Adam said one to two days a week, you're probably going to go to two. So I would go one. I would go one day a week, full body, compound lifts, focus on building strength, and that's it. And give it like two months, and you should see your strength uh, significantly improve. And then what will follow that is an improvement in body composition, how you feel energy-wise. And then maybe add another day, but I think one day – I mean, 12 hours of dance plus the games – one day a week of good traditional resistance training is 
plenty. Plus, it, the same conversation we had to have with salami to competitive salsa. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's very similar. Yeah, thanks. This, yeah, that it, joke went yeah. nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> thanks a lot, Doug. <laughs> Kill my joke. <laughs> no, and I, something you didn't say, but I'm reading in your uh, in the email that you sent in, is that you also seem to have a pretty good muscle base already. So even more, yeah. even more reason why you won't need as much volume to probably maintain your muscle mass. Yeah. And the reason why maybe your body is not responding very much right now is because you just got so much to getting thrown at it, and yeah. by you backing off you'll probably actually end up holding on or building more muscle with like Sal saying one day a week or tops two, di- yeah. two times a week. Sierra, if you don't have MAPS Anabolic, we'll send that to you. And then I'll, I'll say this. If you'd like an individualized routine designed specifically by one of the hosts here at Mind Pump, all you got to do is throw a free ticket to one of the games. <laughs> to, uh, Adam or to Justin. the sports ball event. Yeah, not, not me. I could, I could care less. Yeah. But, uh, you, know, you know, no offense. I can be bribed. I could be a mascot. You yeah. could get, just throwing that out. I'm going to tell you right now, Adam would definitely design a routine for you if you gave him a couple tickets to All right, just games. let me know what, what games you like. <laughs> no problem. But we'll send, you, we'll send you MAPS Anabolic. And one of those foundational workouts a week uh, should be plenty awesome. in combination with your and, and trust the process. Okay. Because yeah. you, you have this kind of like, you know, mentality where you go for things. And, and I understand that mm-hmm. I, I can identify with that. Trust the, give it literally six weeks. Just try for no, worst case scenario. You, you don't improve. You don't go down. You know, you don't go backwards either. You just kind of stay the same. Yeah. Best case scenario. Okay. You'll, you'll be pretty uh, shocked at how well your body responds. Awesome. Thank y'all so much. I really appreciate it. No Thanks, problem. Sarah. Sarah. Thank you. Thanks for calling in. Good looking out. I'll get me some tickets. Yeah, there, right? <laughs> to the undisclosed you know what's, team. You know what's right? bullshit though? So I was, uh, for my birthday, I was going to get uh, seats and because uh, it's back, right? So obviously NBA is back to yeah. the arena. But if I sit anywhere where I normally sit on the lower level, like uh, you have to not only be vaccinated, but you also have to wear a mask. They don't count. Uh, na- they don't count natural immunity, which no, NBA, makes zero sense. NBA is one of the strictest out of all the like companies that are doing like like rules like that. And and of course, we're in the state of California. So if you're NBA, state of California, like yeah. I was going to fly to Texas or Florida to watch yeah. my Warriors play. They're worried you're gonna sneeze on the court or something. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, I get it, but I don't understand why they don't count natural immunity because all the studies show that it, it to be better right. than right. even uh, vaccinated. And immunity. not only yeah. that, so I, if I test, like, so you have to test with, uh, so you have to test, right? So vaccinated, prove that you're vaccinated. Yeah. The test that you have to take of, is their test. Like I can't take like the, you know, the at home one or whatever that. It's like a very specific test that you have uh-huh. to order and do. You have, it has a small window. It's just a head. Anyways, yeah. that, that has nothing to do with our question, but you just made me think. <laughs> I was yeah. like, because well, that's what sucks is even if she were to hook it up with tickets, I probably wouldn't even fucking sell them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? Uh, I, I, yeah. It's a liability, right? Because if one player gets sick, then they lose uh, yeah, no, yeah, the But I, 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 listen. She th- was so easy, though. I easy, mean, man. This is like yeah. so common with people like her, which I can identify with. It's like yeah. you're doing all this stuff and you're like, why don't I, why do I feel so tired? Yeah, I'm putting on, the work in, right? Why yes. isn't it uh, paying off? So Especially, do less. you know, because she didn't say it when we were talking, but in, her, in her, our notes, it says that she's got like really good muscle mass and she builds muscle really well. And has like a solid muscular frame, man. I mean, that type of a body type, uh, and she easily could back off the amount of days she's weight training, and probably well, see. You know way what the more. irony is? High level people, because this is high level. If you're a professional dancer for a team, I mean, you, you got to yeah, be pretty good performing all the time. Yeah, and the irony is, people at that level often are able to do what they do at that level, in spite of the fact that they overtrain the shit out of the body. In other words. Her genetics right. allow her to still do what she's doing, even though she's well overtrained. Because and the average person doing this would be screwed. Well, That's a only, lot. That's well, twelve hours of dance. Not only that, she's competitive. She's not the average person. Right. She's she has a gear that most people don't have, aside from her body type and right. her genetics. In addition to that, she also has competed at the high. She's competing yeah. at the highest level if she's a pro, right? So you got to know that. She has that attitude of like, it don't matter. I'll get through this, yep. which is great. But then they're always the people that I have to tell. Yeah. Listen, like, recovery is a huge. Component yeah, we're to doing this. we're doing way too much. We're yeah. doing way too much. Your body and it's so hard. And I know what it's like because and all of us can relate to this because I think we're all competitive type A personalities. Mm-hmm. Is telling that person that hey, doing less is actually going to give you more. Yeah. It just doesn't seem because everything else you've applied that theory to in life doesn't pay out that yeah. way. If I work harder, I get paid more. Or at the very if least, I work harder at my my craft, I get better yeah. at my craft. But when it comes to building a body and it comes to body fat percentage and building lean tissue, 
that the same rules do not apply mm -hmm. as everything else, like getting more money or being more successful in life. The more you do, you tend to get more from it. That's not the way it works when it yeah, well, when it comes train to smarter, not harder, right? But I do want to say I'm I'm glad Justin's mic was off when he tried to reveal my <laughs> my uh, you know my I wonder my if hobby they still that picked knows. it up. But a lot of people, uh, hey, a lot whatever. of people don't know. I was throwing about, you under the bus. Yeah, my competitive salsa uh, days, man. They're behind me, but I those tell hips you, don't was, lie. So it was such were, a great joke too. Those hips so, don't lie. Uh, Doug screwed you. It's all right. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.